Hello friends, welcome back to Rocks for Brains. I finally got the flat lap machine set up again. Still don't have the rock shop set up because it doesn't have electricity, but I can do this in the garage. Um, and I'm gonna attempt to do an assortment of things today. There's a couple of pieces of um, banded agate that I need to finish polishing. Try to do maybe some exploration of some opals and try to polish up some of the fire agate that I have. So it's going to be, like I said, an assortment of things. And some of them may be successes, some of them may not, but that's okay. Um, I think when I did the amber, I may have messed up the polishing pad a little bit. So we'll see how it goes. This is one of the pieces that I've been trying to finish for a few months now. It wasn't quite flat enough to get a good polish on it. Um, so I've been trying to grind it down. It is polished on the other side, uh, but this is supposed to be a display piece, a gift for somebody. So it's a nice, interesting looking agate, but um, it has, because the way that it was ground down originally, it's an uneven surface and there's a bit of a, a line right there. So we'll get that polished up. I think I might explore this fire agate piece a little bit. Try to polish up these other fire agates. Get these wet so you can see what they look like potentially. There we go. I don't think these have a lot of fire in them necessarily, but they do have some pretty interesting patterns. It's got some cool little bands and swirls on it. That one might have a tiny bit of little fire at the bottom, uh, but really I just want to get them polished up and see what they look like. Let me polish up this little piece of uh, purple pastelite as well. And I have a bunch of opals that still need to be finished or explored. Some of these are, are done already. Well, a couple of them anyway. But I have those and this whole box. If I can get this open. <laughs> There's this whole bag of Australian opal uh, that can be explored. So this piece was starting to show a little bit of fire just at the end here. Um, so I broke it apart into smaller pieces so that I could more easily access that and round it and maybe get to this side as well. Um, I don't know if these pieces are gonna have anything. This one might, but this one definitely has just a little bit of shimmer on the end there. That's gonna look pretty cool when it's polished up.
Well, good news is that the polishing pad still polishes. That is some super shiny agate right there. And it sits very well. It's not perfect, but it's hard because this is a, it's a weird shape um, and it doesn't quite fit. It's a little bit too big for the flat lap machine, but man, I can see the reflection of the trees. That is gorgeous. This is a pretty cool piece of fire agate. I decided to just make it kind of like a little angular uh, display piece. It has a little bit of fire up here in the top, but mostly it's just really cool bands. So far I've just shaped it and kind of made flat edges um, and then I'll polish it up. But that is, that's really cool. I like that a lot. A tiny little bit of fire up there at the top. This one is really nice as well. There's quite a bit of fire up there at the corner. And it's on both sides. The tricky part though, is that the really good stuff is down here on the corner, which is very, very thin. And I was trying to get this kind of sandy material out, but I didn't want to take that away. So it's kind of a weird shape now. But that's definitely going to look nice when it's all polished up as well. So cool. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit there. Oh yeah. So this is Lightning Ridge Opal. Ah. I did have a little trouble the last time I tried this with getting the opal on the top stick and having it crack. So I'll probably finish this off in a different video. Man, the color on that is craziness. There's some red and green. It's pretty thin. But I think that'll turn out pretty awesome. If I can manage to get it polished up without cracking it. <laughs> nice. This one's just a nice little piece of uh, common opal or potch. Again, it's from Australia, but it's got a cool little gray streak in there. And I made it just a eh, little triangle-ish shape. So that might be cool in some jewelry at some point. 
This one does have some color in it, but it's basically all stuck in sand. So I don't think that's gonna turn out to be anything. But it's cool just to kind of practice and see, see how this stuff feels on the flat lap. It's still pretty. Well, the sun went away, but hopefully you can see these okay. Man, that got super shiny. That one has so many different patterns and swirls. You can see the little bit of fire just at the top there. And I left this kind of like little Druzy quartz pocket in there, which is pretty cool. I think that turned out pretty well. And you can just kind of sit it, you know, on the face right there. It's like a little display piece. Ooh, my hands are dirty. <laughs> and this one too. Without the sunshine, it's kind of hard to see as much of the fire as you could before. But there's a lot in that on the edge. Got very shiny. There's some fire just in the corner right there, which I did lose some of it, but not all. Couldn't get all that kind of sandstony stuff out there. That's okay. There we go. There's a nice view of it there. And then just a tiny little purple pastelite, kind of freeform little cabochon there. It looks like, almost looks like a little candy corn, like a purple candy corn <laughs> with the different color on the top. Cool. All right. I'm happy with those for sure. This one's going, I think, on my shelf in a little display. Nice. I always seem to forget how much work that actually is. I want to do so many different pieces, um, and I end up kind of roughing out more than I finish. Um, I can only take kind of a few hours doing that before my neck starts hurting really bad. So. I know that there's definitely some more pieces I want to finish in the future and I'm still waiting on, I think it was three or four pieces of Lightning Ridge Australian Opal that are hopefully really, really cool. Uh, they're a little bigger than what I've worked on so far. Um, ooh. <laughs> I like a little red line on my head from the, from my safety glasses. That's weird. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Until next time, try to learn something new every day. Bye!